In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly set up Pokemon Go GPS joystick. You have to have a root and Magisig install. If you don't have any of those, this would not work for you. So let's start it. So first thing what you have to do, go to the Play Store and download Terminal. install okay once the terminal is downloaded and installed don't open it and now go to your magic manager and go three horizontal lines and then go to the downloads and then search for busy box and download and install allow okay once it's finished it's gonna say reboot do not reboot could come out of it go back again downloads and search system app systemizer download and install so so when it's gonna finish it will say reboot do not reboot so what we did we went to the play store we download the terminal and then we went to the magisig we download two plugins if you go to the module you see two of them it will show up once we restart so we download two plugins and then and now we have to download the the gps joystick so we go to the internet explorer look for gps joystick and then first one comes up with the gps joystick dot the app ninjas.com we download here you go all the way in the bottom and you say most common okay so you have these two links was one say most common if you have a newer device that arm 64 will work and if you have an older tablet or cell phone then the v7a will work so mine tablet is not old new so i'm gonna download the old one so, okay so download okay it's open settings unknown allow stall and it's gonna install the GPS joystick and then you say open so accept and cancel not now so now the gps drastic is tall so now you, what you gotta do you go to the privacy mode up there click privacy mode and then click generate and then you can name whatever application you want to name pokemon go gps start so it's just gonna create a new copy with this new name and install it so once it's created the new copy it's gonna install again one more time so you just go setting again allow go back stall and now installing the new um, application you created using the privacy mode called Pokemon Go GPS and then send you say you're done All right and I'm just gonna go back all the way to the home screen so now you should have two of them your original GPS joystick and the one you name it Pokemon Go GPS so I'm just gonna delete the 
original one and leave the the second one with the new name okay so now we are done with the downloading the application and installing the G, uh, the magic modules buzz and busybox and the systemizer at this point now we have to restart the tablet so i'm just going to pause and restart the tablet or cell phone so I just restart my tablet and I just came back. So we still have the terminal installed, Pokemon, Go GPS, the new name um, application we created. And now we're gonna go to the Magizik. Go to these left corner, left hand corner, these horizontal line, then go to the module and we will see these two. Uh, modules we install the one for the app systemizer one for the busy box so everything looks so good and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to terminal and then we type su super user and click enter we're just gonna ask for the permission we say grant Okay, so once we give the system uh, the super SU permission for terminal, we're just gonna type SYS term system Z E systemize. Click OK. Okay, so once you are here, you know you will see this hyphen sign so that means you are under your SU permission so now you're gonna type system SYS TMIZ systemize click OK and now you see the set SE Linux enable false so we have to change from false to true so we what you gonna do you see the uh, option S under the three. I'm just gonna press S and then change the status. We're gonna see C and we click enter. So now it should be changed. So I'm just gonna go X to go back to the menu and then we go again system I and then enter now you see saying sets sc linux enabled true so supposed to be true not false and if you think i'm moving so far you can slow down the video within the settings of youtube channel or video and you can you know put it slow but it's very easy to follow once you if you if you're not getting it just watch two three times so now you remember the application we made and the Pokemon Go GPS? You're gonna make that application as a system application. So that's why we are doing this. So now I'm just gonna uh, choose option number one and press enter. And my Pokemon Go GPS is listed under number two. So that's what I'm gonna make one of the this application as a system application is just gonna and you just say what you want to do a system app or system private app so I'm just gonna say stall as a system app number one and enter and it's saying it's done return to the menu Y yes and enter and then zero to exit and then one more exit type exit and exit and your terminal work is done so now what we have to do we go to the play store again one more time and go pokemon if you already have it download then you can skip this step but if you don't 
then download the game okay so the game is being downloaded I'm not gonna open the game so what I'm gonna do just go back to the magic manager open the magic manager go back here go to the settings and I'm just gonna make sure check for updates I'm just gonna disable that I'm gonna also make sure that magic hide is enabled see this thing is enabled and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hide magic manager so I'm just click magic manager and just gonna name whatever name you can choose Yeah, so okay you can see on the top is downloading and just gonna automatically restart your magic manager once it's finished the downloading on the so once you go and hide the magic manager is go and download automatically and your magic manager will restart and now you can see there are like two copies one is the original magic manager and one then you create it so now I'm gonna open the one I created I'm just gonna click on it and I'm just gonna say okay check the safety net status okay and then I'm gonna go back and then go back again and now I'm gonna go back to the settings so I'm gonna go back and now you see it say restore magic manager so that mean we changed the original magic manager with the some uh, default name and we already have a magic manager hide enabled so now we're gonna go these uh, um, horizontal lines on the top and then go to the magic hide and then the final thing what we have to do we have to enable the hide for google play we're gonna enable the hide for pokemon the new app we created the pokemon go gps and we're gonna enable the uh, hide route for pokemon go so three of these things google play pokemon and then Pokemon Go GPS so we enable the hide and then we come out so when we try to open this uh, original magic manager it shouldn't be installed see saying magic is not installed because it's already been updated with the, the new magic manager with the fake name so why we are changing the name, the original um, Pokemon Go GPS and original Magic Manager because Pokemon Go application on the background goes and run the queries trying to find if you have these applications installed and if you leave them with the original package and name it will find them easily and then block but once you change the names like some crazy names the Pokemon Go would not know what is the new um, name you put for these applications so you wouldn't find it so that's pretty much it so um, what you have to do I'm just gonna revise real quick you go to the Play Store you download the terminal first and you download and install then you go to the magic manager and download these two uh, modules for magic manager do not restart and then you go to the website uh, for gps joystick and whatever your device is you download either of these two and once you download then you go to the privacy within that application and 
you create the privacy mode and give any crazy name whatever you name and then delete the old GPS and then you go to the Majestic Manager and do the same thing change the name for the Majestic Manager once you change it then it will look like this you will say restore Majestic Manager and then you will say Majestic Hide is enabled and then you go up here under the Majestic Hide you will see these three application Google Play GPS and Pokemon Go hiding the route. So if I go and play Pokemon Go, it should work without any errors or without them to finding out what's going on. But personally, I don't play any game, so I don't know too much about what to hack, how to hack, how to play. So when it comes to the gameplay, I get confused. But technically, you still able to do it um, after watching this video and if you think it's going too fast for you you just pause and re-watch again and again and you can uninstall the terminal if you want to and then you can restart your tablet one more time to get all that settings and this magic manager should go away if it doesn't it's not used because when you open it say there is no root and so when the Pokemon go and look for it, they couldn't find the root for the original Majestic Manager. So for them, it's not a threat or hack anymore. Thanks for watching and you have a nice day.